everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Offcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! To begin our hat, I'm using a J-hook, which is a size 10. It's 6 millimeters, and I'm using a medium weight yarn. Um, here, I'm going to begin with a magic circle. If you're not comfortable with using a magic circle, you can also do uh, four chains and then slip stitch into the first chain and then work your first uh, round inside of that um, circle. But here, I'm going to start with the magic loop. And I'm going to go ahead and get this here. And I'm going to chain three. Here. One, two, three. And this is going to count as my first double crochet here. But now here I'm going to do eight more double crochets. So here's one. Okay, here I have my eight. So let me count here. I should have nine total, including this third one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to pull this shut, my circle nice and tight and then I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that third chain here's one two three just right there and now my second round I'm going to do an increase in each stitch so here I'm going to chain three one two three and in that same stitch let me see if I can get a little closer you can see what I'm doing better in that same stitch there I'm going to do a double crochet so I'm going to be doing a double crochet increase in every stitch and I shall have um, 18 stitches here. So here, the next stitch, I'm going to do two double crochets. Okay, I finished my last increase. So here I should have 18, including this um, three chain, uh, third chains here. So I'm going to one, two, three, I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain. And now here, I'm going to go up and I'm going to chain three one two three so here in this round we're going to do increases um, in every stitch including this third chain but we're going to be working alternating between front post double crochet and back post double crochet so here after i do this here i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to do a double crochet one and two in the front post just like this okay so now we'll have that chain three and the double crochet oops I split the yarn let me do that again because I don't like the way that looks <laughs> so here I done my chain three to go up and then I'm going to yarn over in the front post here my third chain I'm going to do two double crochets in the front post two front post double crochets and now in my next stitch I'm going to do two uh, stitches as well another increase but I'm going to go in the back post so here I'm going to yarn over I'm going to come through the back you could see here that it's coming that through the back I'm going to pull out my yarn and then I'm going to finish my double crochet just the same but it's coming from behind it's a back post so now here I'm going to be alternating so now the next one will be two double crochets in the front post so here's my next stitch here, two double crochets and in the front post and then the next one would be two double crochets in the back post. So go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, here I'm coming to my last increase for the back post. Okay, and now here I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain to go up. Remember that third chain counts as a double crochet. So here they're going front, back, front, back, front, back, alternating all the way around. So now here for my next round, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And now here I'm going to do an increase in the second a stitch of my front post. So here I'm just going to do a front post in the one front post in the first front post double crochet. So I'm doing a front uh, a front post double crochet and then in this one here I'm going to do an increase. So now I have three front post double crochet, three back post double crochet all the way around. So here 
I'm going to do an increase. So this second stitch will have two front post double crochet. Okay, so now here I have three front posts here, and this is kind of included. So now in this one, in my back post, I'm going to go back post in the first stitch, one back post in the back post, and then in the next back post, I'm going to do an increase. So here I'll have two back post double crochet in that one. So we're just increasing by one more stitch in each little cluster on this round. So now it's getting a little wider. Now here in my front post, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did here. So here is one front post double crochet in the next one. And in this one, the next front post double crochet, I'm going to do an increase. So I'll do two front post double crochet. And then I want you to repeat the same thing all the way around. So here would have one back post double crochet. In the second back post, you'll have two back post double crochet all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and finish that and we'll come back and work on the next round. Okay, so we just finished round five. So now here in round six, we're going to um, slip stitch here to the third chain to connect. And now here, I'm going to go ahead and chain three to go up. One, two, three. And now here in my first two stitches, I'm going to do, uh, uh, if it's a front post, then I do a front post. And then if it's a back post, I do a back post. But on the third one, I do an increase. So here it, I'm going to do one front post double crochet in each of the first two stitches here. One, and then two. And then on the second stitch of this three set, I'm going to do an increase. So I'll have four because I want to um get to uh, four stitches in every one of my little clusters here. So here now I have four front posts and then now here I want to increase these three back posts to four back posts. Double crochet. So here the first two I'm going to do one back post double crochet. So here's one. I get some more yarn. And then the second one two Sorry guys, I think the air conditioner just kicked in. And then in the third one, uh, the last one here, I'm going to do two back posts. I'm going to do an increase. So we're bringing our stitch count from three sets to four. So now you see that it's starting to get bigger. That little stitch, I don't know if you can really tell here because it's uh, it's not 3D. So, so now here once again, front post in the first two, one, one, and then two, and then here you do an increase. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Just Okay, so I just finished my row. I'm sorry, I apologize. This is row 5. I think I said it was row 6. So now we're going to start row 6. So here in the third chain, 1, 2, 3, we're going to slip stitch. Okay, so now here you can see that each of our little groupings here of our um, front post and back post have 4 stitches. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4 for the front and then 4 in the back four in the front, four in the back, and all the way around. So here we're going to start our first switch um, of the basket weave because we want to make that, remember, that kind of crisscross. So here for row number six, we're going to do our first little switcheroo here. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to chain three to go up, one, two, three, and now here in this row, row six, wherever you see a front post double crochet, we're going to reverse it. We're going to work a back post double crochet in the front post and a front post in the back because we want to kind of twist that little, make that little basket weave um, look. So here I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go through the back because if this is a front post on row six, I'm going to do the opposite. So here I'm going to go ahead and do a back post double crochet and there's no increases. So now here on my next one, same thing, back post double crochet. So now you're going to see that little line right there. And then the third one, the same thing. One, two, and then this is the fourth one. Four. So now you can see here, let me finish this. I'm going to show you. You can see that these were front posts and now I turn them into back. Now these back ones, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do those to the front. So you're just going to do the opposite. If you find a back post, you work it to the front. If you find a front post, then you work it in the back. So here, these back posts, I'm going to yarn over and come in through the front this time. 
and I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So my back post, I'm going to work to the front. My front, I'm going to work to the back all the way around. Okay, just like this. Okay, so now you can see that it's going to start changing now. So see. Okay, now I wanted to put this on the table so you could see that it's not flat. It's um, so don't get worried if it's a little bit wavy because it's starting to get bigger. So now here for three rounds, so for round seven to nine, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that third chain. And then I'm going to chain three to go up. One, two, three. So now for three rounds, if you find like a stitch, if it, the stitch is a back post, you're going to work a back post. If it's a front post, you work a front post. So basically you're going to be following what it is um, you have here. So here there's no increases either. So here these are all in the back. So I know that here I'm going to continue working these in the back for the next four stitches and then the next four stitches after that are for the front. So we're just going to keep following that pattern. So here if it's a back post you do the back post, if it's a front you do the front. And so here let me just show you that. So you're going to do this for um, three rounds, okay? When you get to the end, you chain in the third chain, and then um, excuse me, slip stitch to the chain, the third chain, and then chain your three to go up. So now these are here in the front. So these will be worked in the front post. So we're following the same, um, doing the same thing um, that we did here. If it's a front post, it goes in the front. If it's a back, you do the back. And I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. So here then, if I'm coming now to the back post, so then these would all be done in back post, then these in the front and all the way around. I'm going to work three rounds like this and then we'll come back and work on the fourth one, the fourth round together. So now here, okay, I did my three rounds and I tried it on, but I think it's coming out a little big. So the J hook might have been a little big. Um, this is probably going to be perfect for a man size, so I'm going to put the disclaimer at the beginning so that you might try a bigger one. After I finish, I'll check it out. So here, um, I did my three rounds. So here, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain. And then here, now, I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And now, for this one row, which is row ten, wherever I see a back post, I'm going to do a front post. Wherever I see a front post, I'm going to do a back post because I'm trying to... Um, this is my first little uh, set of squares here. So now I'm going to... Uh, while it's here, my first set, my second set, and I'm going to try another. start another set of squares. I finished my last round, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. I can fasten this off, and now all I need to do is sew in my tail. You can try on your hat now. You can see the basket weave on here. And if it's um, if you want it a little bit longer, you can add another set. Repeat the four rows once again. But here you can see the different uh, the basket weave pattern. Let me show you what it looks like on the mannequin. Okay, the hat is ready, and all I need to do now is sew in this tail. I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. That way you don't miss any new videos. And hit the little notification button that's right next to the subscribe. It's a little bell. That way you get notified when I put up a new video. The hat is a little bit larger than I was thinking it was going to come out, but if you have a lot of hair, that'll be fine. Um, for the size J, I think it would, J hook, I think uh, if it's, a little bit large maybe for a, a man size. Uh, for an H, I'm going to make a different one and I'm going to go ahead and move down to an eye hook. Um, and for children, I would probably use either for younger children, maybe a G hook or an H hook. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends and family. Have a great day and remember always that God loves you.